Abby Peterson with Channel 7 News reporting live from New York and I'm here to bring you the latest update on D-Day. Two days ago on June 8th, 156,000 American, British and Canadian forces landed on five beaches along a 50 mile stretch on the coast of France's Normandy. The first attack began with paratroopers. The next stage was thousands of battleplanes dropping bombs on the German defense. The troops needed the light of the moon for the attack. For this reason, there was only a few days during the month when the Allies could attack. This led Eisenhower to go ahead with the invasion despite the battle. At 3 a.m., 19,000 Allied bombers attacked German lines. A staggering 7 million pounds of bombs were dropped that day. A total of 10,521 combat aircrafts flew a total of 15,000 sororities on D-Day. 113 lives were lost that day. As we all know, our men are away fighting for us. So when they come home, they're going to want nice, clean clothes, not those dirty clothes they are wearing for weeks that aren't washed. So wash their clothes with Tide for a nice, clean, and soft feeling. The night before D-Day, U.S. paratroopers landed behind German lines in France to choke the Germans. About 33,000 paratroopers landed at midnight and moved to Normandy to help the landing parties in the morning. Eisenhower decided that the airborne units would go first the night before the invasion under a full moon. Prime Minister Wilston Churchill said nervously to his wife the night before the landing, Do you realize that by the time you wake up in the morning, 20,000 men will have been killed? And he was right, about 20,000 men did die that morning. An important part of war is the battle gear. The battle gear of D-Day was very important. Some of their weapons consist of pistols, machine guns, rifles, heavy machine guns, anti-tank weapons, hand grenades, flamethrowers, explosives, and shotguns. The soldiers went out to war with clean socks, underwear, a canteen, and water. Most soldiers carried 30 caliber M1 semi-automatic rifles. They were consistent to be their best friends. Soldiers were to carry over 100 pounds of weapon gear. For this special battle, the first round of soldiers carried more gear than normal. The goal for this battle was to send the soldiers in and have them last for at least three days without running out of gear. It was a bad idea to send in soldiers with all this weaponry, which was meant to save lives, actually ended up killing more soldiers. When they would cross a large body of water, they would usually end up drowning in the water by the weight of their weapons on their back. This has been Alex with Battle Gear and other information on D-Day. Now on to Abby with the sports. Over 500 Major League Baseball players have traded their team uniforms for a service uniform. As we all know, the attack of Pearl Harbor left a huge impact on us. During the chaos of the attack, Phil Wrigley was wondering about baseball. Wrigley was the owner of the Chicago Cubs and a gum factory. He decided to send gum to the soldiers. The president of the league wanted to end baseball because he thought people were losing interest in baseball. President Roosevelt convinced him not to end it. While the men were away, the women were building the war tanks, airplanes, and ships. While they were doing this, Wrigley believed these women could play baseball. We all have that one kid that loves to play outside, but sometimes that can be a problem. These kids love to play on swings, jump over down, and the worst of all, they fall. Then they scrape up their knees and elbows. Well, that's where band-aids come in. Stick a band-aid on and everything will be okay. Baseball depended on women. Now to weather with Alex. Your local weather for right now is 29, feels like 21. The winds are mm -hmm. south, going 8 miles per hour and there's, the humidity is 40%. And this is your weekly weather. If you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, this is your weekend weather. It looks like it's going to be pretty good on Friday and Saturday, but Sunday you might run into a few chance of snow.